going to show you two different ways that I use to hem up jeans. Um, and one way takes about a half an hour and the other way takes about two hours, but the two hour way I think is nicer. But, you know, it's up to you to decide which one you prefer. Uh, I should have showed you guys while I was doing it, but I took them home and washed them and then did it right away and forgot. But anyway, um, so the first thing you do have to do is wash your jeans. Wash them uh, on, in hot water and dry them. And that way you can make sure that they shrink as much as they're going to shrink um, before you hem them. Because if, if you hem them before washing them and then they shrink up your legs. So um, this is the first way that I do them. And with this hemming uh, technique, uh, you don't even have to cut the jeans. So it's great for like kids if they're growing and um, you don't want to cut the, you can let them out again if you don't want to cut the length. So... I don't even use any pins, as I said, or any kind of, uh, all I use is an iron and a needle and some thread. So I'm going to try to position the camera here now to show you. So what I did with the jeans is, well, you measure where you want them to lie. Um, and then it's sort of like a, these are not cut at all. Um, so what I did was you you have to double up the fabric so when you're folding them let's just pretend this hem isn't here so when you're folding them you come all the way up and then you half it and fold it back I don't know if you understand but ugh. anyway so what you end up with is like a double piece of hem here and then I just iron it down I iron it down flat um, maybe I can grab another pair of jeans and just show you what I mean Okay, so if these were the jeans that I were hemming, what I would do is take, I'd find out where I needed the hem to lay, so if I needed them at that length, I'd fold them up like that, make sure they'd be even all the way along. So you can see that I fold them up like that. And then just come halfway, find the halfway point to where you need your length and the end of the actual jean. And then fold them back down. So you need to pull this really straight so there you have like a double layer there so then all you do is you take this you can iron, iron it really good iron it down really good and then when you have your iron down seam you roll it back again so you can catch where it where the um, pieces meet and then you just stitch it along um, so here's what I have on the inside as you can see I just stitched it along all the way around and this actually lasts really long you can get many many washes out of this if you use a good quality thread so you just stitch it along like that and um, then roll it back and iron it again and you have your hem um, now, the only thing about this type of hemming is that uh, it's great because you can let it out, but at the same time you get some weight in here because now you got like two layers. So, um, you know, I prefer to do it this way because sometimes you can make a mistake when cutting, but then you still got this, there's a heaviness to the bottom of your jeans um, that you might not like. So, a second way that I've hemmed this one's pretty simple, is I just take the jeans, I took the jeans and I cut them off at the length that I wanted them. Um, then, actually I cut them off at about, uh, say, an inch 
or two shorter than I wanted them. Then I hemmed up the bottom of the jeans with a very small hem. So as you can see, this was this was the jeans, and I hemmed them up right here with a very small hem. And then I took the bottom of the leg that was left over and cut as much off of it as I needed out of the middle. So like essentially the length of the leg came out of here. So I cut that and then I hemmed that piece as well. And then I took the two hemmed pieces and sewed those together. So now I just have another hem in the middle. All this was done by hand. And so then of course you're gonna have a cuffed look. So there's a line that, that will go along your jean right there. So what I did was I just took some denim bugle beads and um, beaded the bottom of the pants. And uh, that um, helps distract from the, so it's the camera strap there. That helps distract from the pleated look there. You can uh, put any kind of beads on it or a piece of um, lace or fabric or just leave it the way it is if you don't mind that it looks, it'll look cuffed. Um, so that's two ways that I hem my jeans. Uh, without a sewing machine, you don't need any machine, you don't need any pins, just a needle and thread and an iron. Um, and uh, you can give this a try. Hope you like these two ideas for hemming. Like I said, I prefer, even though it adds a little weight to the bottom of the jeans, I prefer not to cut the jeans just in case you make a mistake or if you need to let them out in the future if they shrink up some more or something. Thanks for watching.